I'm just going to say shalom to everyone. Uh, this is like a random uh, video. Um, you know, I was just, you know, thinking, you know, I, I was able to do a lot of thinking for the past four days. Uh, you know, just in regards to, you know, understanding, you know, your enemy, um, how, how he reacts uh, to certain it's almost like putting two chemicals together and you you always get some type of reaction either good or bad um, I was actually watching a video or a movie actually when it was going into a certain some certain chemicals that's in the world and I'm not sure if they all exist um, sometimes movies exaggerate but I know it's something in the world that, that the that the earth creates when you mix chemicals together is uh, it's called C4 um, and I'm just using this as an example of about what I'm about to get into and and this is going to be parabolic okay all right so I'm not talking about no bombs and all that so I know you got to be very careful on what you say uh, but I just know that certain chemicals can cause certain reactions um, and I heard that C4 if you got a golf ball amount it can disintegrate you know do a lot of damage all right you know you're talking about probably like 50 yards worth of damage probably a little more than that all right um probably not that much so I'm, I may be off you know I don't deal with all that but I was just you know just thinking about how even people uh, even the, the brain itself have you know we always heard the term some people have chemical imbalance which is caused by spirits all right um, what happens is when you talk about scriptures righteousness on videos things of that nature and if somebody got a chemical imbalance in their mind um, it can set them off and what I've learned how to do is based on doing this work for a while and like again I deal with the lights I deal with a lot of mental clarification um, I've noticed they, they smell and not physically but their actions um, that's why Christ was able to understand who was who based on his disciples uh, he had full mental clarification and all of us of course is going to have enemies alright so we're not to always judge the flesh because a person can change uh, based on forgiveness okay um, so I just wanted to just put this information out because you got a lot of people that seem like they cool and I just want us to understand how to sniff them if you will in a metaphorical way learn how a person with a chemical imbalance act but it's always going to be because of your balance based on righteousness and usually when somebody is dealing with the spirit like if you're talking to someone and they don't agree initially of what you're saying and they really dealing with something totally the reverse they get agitated they get they have to move around they may start sweating and they they move around just a little unorthodox they they move with an inordinate type mannerisms okay so like i said if something on my mind i'm just going to bring it out so people can can understand um what type of platform this is in reference to you know youtube you stream google plus or whatever it is this type of work is very dangerous all right um, especially <laughs> to those whatever you want to call them those covert stalkers going gang stalkers or whatever you know they believe that certain people are isolated um, but I was I've been writing certain poems in regards to what you see right now is not really what it is 
all right you think you see me because you're looking at the flesh but what you see is not me all right and this just goes out to you know the so-called I suppose you know enemies everybody have enemies you know some people don't like my videos or whatever and you know some people just don't like me or whatever so don't think that you're winning you're not gonna win okay you're not you can act like you're friendlies you act, you can act like you're sweet and all that that doesn't work for me okay I can smile right in your face just like you can smile right back to mine I can talk to you and have conversation just like you can have conversation with me period so you're not talking this is not a checkers game with me okay the most I said scripture says be wise as a serpent but harmless as a dove all right so don't think you are winning because of a certain situation I'm going through you're not winning anything and I'm going to contact a few people uh, based on some very uh, I would say it's, it's groundbreaking but I have to make sure that it is in line with scripture first and I'm gonna have a small conference with a few people uh, they know who they are you know I talk to them um, on a regular basis um, I may contact some few people I, I have some very you know some type of it's, it's some information that I that I need to speak to some people about um, so a few people may be getting some emails from me all right um, and it's based on what I just said you see me but you really don't okay because when it's time for me to get up out of here and I'm gonna say it live right here on this camera when when I feel that I'm ready to get up out of here believe me won't no weapon of Satan stop me nothing not one weapon nothing that's just how much faith I got in the most high period anytime you just put it to you like this right and I hope the people that are watching these computers and all this and I hope y'all really pay attention to what I'm about to say see you're not dealing with see your, your weapons are based on this world this realm 2 plus 2 is 4 minus this equal that equations you're dealing with this realm here here right here but I don't I don't deal with this realm so like I said before the enemy is and with other brothers and sisters that may be going through certain things you're dealing with people that was never <laughs> ever dealing with this realm we live here we up we're in the world but we're not of the world even Christ says that so I may post that scripture up here Christ was always prompting his people and the others that believe in him to be don't be fleshly and your weapons are fleshly your actions the enemy's weapons are fleshly carnal riding around in trucks and all that and trying to scope out using cameras and I was looking at a video today how they got all these secret things and you know they can bug this and put this I mean it was almost an hour's worth of a bunch of a contraption of of information we could, you can could find a bug here. You can find a bug there. You can get they be they put them in ceilings, uh, lights and vents and all that. <laughs> only, only Satan can put things together in this world. So yeah, I know his limits. And I'm just going to say this too. Like I, I always use this example, and I guess that can cause certain issues with family being attacked as well like my 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 oldest son years ago we was all in the car it was me my oldest son and my youngest son my youngest son was too 
young at the time to really understand what was going on but my oldest did and it was pouring down rain we was on our way in the house but I said hold up I said let me pray real quick and so the rain could stop he thought I was crazy like me the dad yeah huh that it, it didn't really make sense to him until the rain stopped so when the rain stopped and he one day as when he get older he, we will be able to vouch for this. When we got up to the steps, after we got out of the car, it stopped raining. I said, come on, hurry up. Let's go. We don't have that much time. The most high, we on his time. And he's still looking like, how did how did you do? I said, I ain't do nothing. You saw me pray, right? So we got up to the, to the house, um, well, the apartment, right by the steps under the little... Um, little area where you can be guarded from the weather a little overpass he started pouring down raining again and he started to tear up because he knew he understood that there's a power out there see when you instill the word in kids when they're young of course a lot of us veer off the road but the Most High allow us to go through certain things. If we do veer off, we understand through that experience to teach somebody else don't go that road or that route if he's dealing with you. So based on the example, I just wanted to give that out because, again, these are little enemies that I guess I'm supposed to have and other brothers and sisters that push out truth supposed to have you carnal people you enemies that deal with Satan are dealing with the wrong people like I said again I'm going to say it very clear when I am ready when Melvin Birch is ready to leave and I'm just going to just have a broad understanding of what he's talking about leave what leave I'm about to hit period Nobody is holding me back. I just want to make that clear because I guess some people believe because, you know, certain things have been happening to the car and all that. Uh, the, at first it was the clutch. Now it's the, <laughs> the ignition. Certain things, you, you think that you're winning. Then I just laugh because I know what's going on. Okay, now the, you know, the starter is, is bad. <laughs> it's just funny. It's, it's like, okay, well, okay, that's a car. Man, it's a piece of metal. I'm not. The second day after my other Mustang was stolen, I went outside with a table. Right? With a table. And took my behind on the edge of a street and started preaching. So you're not doing anything. And it reminded me of the movie uh, The Hulk. Um, and I, I use that example because I know where they get that power from where they're they using certain examples in movies based on Judah um, it was a I forgot which you know they had a few series of the Hulk movies came out but it was one of them when David Banner had a son of course and his name was Bruce Banner I think it was the first one and they were in the water and the father wanted all the power from the Hulk and he said Bruce Banner said at the time while he was the Hulk said if you want it take it all so the, the more David Banner tried to grab all the energy from the Hulk it made the Hulk stronger and see that's why I like the Hulk movie because I look at it in a metaphorical sense in an esoteric understanding the more you anger Judah and and Judah the so called Negroes and all the other tribes like I said Judah needs to really rise when you anger him there's a certain level of vibration that you put him on when he know how to use that anger in a good way so it's not really going to have a negative effect to someone that that can master 
his flesh to a degree now all of us have certain things that we need to do but it's certain things that we're that you can that we're learning how to master so you're the more you think you're pounding on someone all you're doing is making that person stronger and I'm going to show you a, an example of physical so that you so you knuckleheads that like to cause certain issues I want to this is what I want you to see you do push-ups you do five you put more pressure on the body you keep doing it you're going to do more don't you think that works in the spiritual realm the spirit can't do anything the physical can't do anything without the spirit this is it's similar but we got to understand that positive energy because you're doing push-ups to get stronger and a positive feeling it's almost the way you feel after you feel you do exercise you feel better your stress level is low so that's what you're doing see I understand and I've learned how to master anger see years ago they, they would have been got me I would have probably been in jail just shooting somebody I'm being honest all the mess that they're trying to you know uh, hone in on me to, to cause me to do something dumb no and a lot of people would have said the same thing yo yeah years ago I know some people right now that just got into the faith would tell you look I don't know how you deal with it alright but see the thing is is making me stronger like for an example I'm going to get this example real quick and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I know this video is getting long for an example let's say they're isolating me right I'm just using me an example because they're really not but I just make them think they are let's say I'm isolated you know because they when they do the gang stalking thing that's what they want you to feel that you try to isolate you they on the four corners of you they don't know they want to make you feel that you're closed in right don't you know you're helping me to keep the commandments okay you're watching me you got bugs all over the house so that means okay well thank you <laughs> thank you that means I need to watch what I say the most high will allow see they think they're doing it the most high allows certain things to happen to his people they're not doing anything it's nothing ordained from just a person the most high allows certain things it allows Satan to do things he allowed Satan to test Job see people don't know the origin of of the reason why negativity is in the world it needs to happen certain things need to happen I need to be isolated maybe I need for my car to break down repetitiously or whatever don't bother me because now I done lost like five to ten pounds and more muscles in, in, my, in my legs I'm more cut leaned out now so you're not doing anything see it helps sometimes to be tested like a job but they don't know they just looking at the surface yeah I'm gonna watch him I'm gonna watch this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that but you really are helping this guy get stronger in the most high that's what the negative energy that they're trying to push you absorb it and that's what the hawk did I'm telling you this that's what we gotta look at he absorbed a nuclear bomb <laughs> come on now what that represent think about it we can do the same things based on the spiritual realm so don't think that you're really winning you you Satanists and you Luciferians and anybody that got an issue with me because and other brothers and sisters that we're pushing out this truth okay you're not doing anything you're not winning you're making you you're, you're making yourself look foolish even if you take me out that's Matthew's 10 don't worry about if somebody can kill the body and what that gonna do? This is not gonna work. So you're not talking to somebody that's a coward. You're not talking to somebody that's a coward. And I think some people, most people, and I say this, most people that you know join certain groups to try to come against another, you know, one person or whatever, they're really low in spirits. They were low in spirits. So all that all that stuff don't work. Okay? Because see, my reward is not here. You don't need certain things in the earth to really survive. Like you, you all you need for real is, is is food. And you can go on you can go without food for 
for long for longer times than they tell you in in the health part of the government okay you can, your body can go matter of fact the longer you go without food the more spiritual you the more spiritual you are you may feel lightheaded a few days or whatever that's what fasting and praying is for to cast out devils and spirits all right because the more you eat it lowers you it lowers your vibration sometimes all right so i'm not gonna turn into a fast because that's personal you know fasting and things of that nature but i just wanted to you know kind of like put this video out because you know of all of us go through certain things and i notice sometimes we allow things to get to us um so i'm not putting this out because i'm you know stressed out or whatever not nah. i'm putting this out to help others to be able to learn how to grab that negative energy and just because you got to think you're fighting all of gravity when you're doing it. and I'm going to use push-ups and sit-ups and all that and exercising the more you fight that negative energy of gravity because gravity pulls down on the body I don't know if people know the anatomy of gravity itself that's what causes your eyes to sag your skin that's the aging uh, one of the one of the aging factors that we got to look at that's what causes you to age okay and maybe a while maybe a later on uh, i'll go into a lesson how um adam and eve they didn't have to fight gravity and all that at first um but that's a i'll get into that to on a, at a later date i got some more studying to do on that but we notice when you're in a and i said this before when you're in a horizontal position when you lay down it takes lifts something is holding you up to keep you from being always pulling down or you know always having the gravity to pull down on you that's a negative that's a that's a a, a negative energy <laughs> to have something pulling down on you trying to jump and you pushing yourself up of course you're getting stronger when you do it the how you get or whatever but that that's a that's gravity is something that's a negative effect on the body that causes the body to age and do and deteriorate and just like for an example if you got things if you take all the air out of certain packages vacuum it out it'll last longer because there's no gravitational pull there's just right there it's not moving there's nothing to and air pulls down on you and they all this stuff these elements causes the body to be become decrepit now because the body because the world is coming against came against man based on his disobedience and see that's what satan didn't tell adam and eve all right so like you do an exercise or whatever it eventually the more you fight that negative that negative field of gravity that force field the more you push against it the stronger you get your body will show the results so the more you try to push against someone with a negative force field if you want to call it gang stalking that's that's pretty funny gang stalking mess with somebody's car stealing somebody's car doing whatever you use that that energy that's supposed to cause you to make something to, to cause you to do something stupid do something positive so there you have it and I'm, one, I'm glad that I made this video because exactly I didn't know exactly what I was going to get into but I knew I had to say something all right um, so there you have it I'm going to end that there and I hope you know I get some some comments on on this particular video this is something that I think a lot of people need to understand um, that's that's the order of righteousness okay like I said we all do silly stuff sometimes just repent for it and just try not to do it again you feel what I'm saying um, usually you know Satan is going to try to find a weak spot all superheroes had a weak spot that's what they do they show you like I said I, I look at a lot of movies for for studying purposes to find out exactly what they use based on scripture so he's going to use something like of course even uh 
the Ghost Rider. If you want to, I'm just going to use the glorious him and Spawn. <laughs> it was always, you know, it was a woman. You know, he and his eyes and got blue. His whole fire. He see a woman. He <laughs> he around a bunch of cops talking about the Ghost Rider, and now his flame then came down because he didn't see a woman or something. But it also fueled him too, because he was in love. So it fueled the spawn guy that had to go to hell. You know how they do black people. They had to go to hell somewhere to make a deal so he could see Wanda again. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just showing you how they do certain things in movies, man. You know, so we can just learn how to, you know, of course, take out the bones. But, you know, this is like I said, it's a random video. Um, you know, all of us are going to have certain issues. Um when it comes down to enemies, enemy attack, people, things of that nature, family, whatever. Uh, we got to learn how to take what they're trying to bring forth. Because I know some, I'm not going to put her name out there, was not funny at the time. It was kind of funny since she went through it kind of well. Uh, she said one of her family members uh, know that she like cabbage. And know that she's not, she's following the Levitical law. So it's almost like. They put certain, you know, they put pork. <laughs> I know she could be probably mad when I, I mentioned this, but put pork in their particular cabbage. You know, so that's what they do. He, he can use family members to do certain things to you, uh, especially if they're not rooted um, in the Bible in totality or at the level you're at. So that is not to demean anybody or, you know, everybody have different levels of comprehension. And like I said, some, you know, just the most high is going to use certain people, you know, to push out the truth in these last days. So it's not for every person, even if it's a family member or not. And I guess around this time of the year, I can probably say, uh, which is probably appropriate to say nowadays, or in, you know, this Christmas mess going on or whatever, uh, you're going to have family beating down your head. Um, they're going to make you feel that you're left out um, usually and I'm gonna just say this and they're left out okay because they're not following scripture so I'd rather be I'd rather feel like an outcast here opposed to being outcast at the end okay so and this I'm just gonna say this and I'm, I'm gonna close this at, after this you uh family members okay that are still asleep based on let's say what we're trying to follow as Hebrew Israelites it is not smart to disrespect a person's uh, belief when it's coming directly out of scripture it is it's uncouth um, it's disrespectful um, to try to push what you your Christianity on a, fa a particular family member that's out of that now um, it's almost to the point where if you look at it and you have to have a, a three dimensional comprehension on this you know that there's some uh, issue when somebody's trying to push something on another person just like a drug addict try to push another person that or a drug dealer trying to push their drugs to make sales. There's really no difference. That's what spirits do. Okay. Um, so you just got to be very careful on how you carry yourself. Um, that, like if somebody, I guess my fam family, I, you know, we talk very rare sometimes. Um, I don't really, I'm to the point where they understand that I'm not going to even you know, partake in any type of holidays or whatever. And if somebody offered you some food, and I think I was supposed to do a video, I think I, I totally forgot in, in regards to if somebody offered you some food, that's okay, that's just food, as long as it's lawful food. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. So, there you have it. I didn't talk, hey, talk 30 minutes. All righty, I'm out of here. Shalom.